Doctrine, Instructions, and Blessings of Conference. Welcome. In the Space of Not Many Years by Elder David A. Bednar. Doctrine. The Book of Mormon is the keystone of our religion, the keystone of our testimony, the keystone of our doctrine, and the keystone in the witness of our Lord and Savior. The Book of Mormon was written for our day. The Nephites never had the book. Neither did the Lamanites of ancient times. It was meant for us. The Book of Mormon looks to the future and contains important principles, warnings, and lessons intended for the circumstances and challenges of our day. Ancient voices from the dust plead with us today to learn this everlasting lesson. Prosperity, possessions, and ease constitute a potent mixture that can lead even the righteous to drink the spiritual poison of pride. God, the Eternal Father, is our Father. Jesus Christ is His only begotten and beloved Son. He is our Savior. Instructions We should constantly ask ourselves, why did the Lord inspire Mormon to include this account in His record? What lesson can I learn from this admonition to help me live in this day and age? We always must be on guard against a pride included, an exaggerated sense of self-importance, a misguided evaluation of our own self-sufficiency, and seeking self instead of serving others. Do the small and simple things that will protect and help us become as a child, submissive, meek, humble, patient, full of love, willing to submit to all things which the Lord seeth fit to inflict upon us. Blessings. The prophet Joseph Smith proclaimed, The standard of truth has been erected. No unhallowed hand can stop the work from progressing. The truth of God will go forth bodily, nobly, and independent, till it has penetrated every continent, visited every clime, swept every country, and sounded in every ear, till the purposes of God shall be accomplished, and the great Jehovah shall say the work is done. As we follow President Benson's counsel, I promise we will discern the applicability of these teachings to the specific conditions of our individual lives and families today. As we study and ponder this inspired record, we will be blessed with eyes to see, ears to hear, minds to comprehend, and hearts to understand the lessons we should learn to beware of pride, lest we should enter into temptation. This is an independent podcast based on my knowledge and ability. For greater understanding and knowledge, I invite you to read or to listen to the talk in its entirety found on the official page of the church, churchofjesuschrist.org.